Hello, you are welcome. How to solve for x in this nice algebra equation? From what you are given here, let's rearrange and take x plus 1 and x plus 4 together. So we have x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 4. Then we have x plus 2 times x plus 3 together. Which is now equals to 120 on this side. Then from here, these two brackets, let's use it to open each other. x times x here become x squared. Then plus x times 4, we have 4x. Then 1 times x, that's plus x. Then plus 1 times 4, that's 4. Close bracket here. Then let's use these two brackets also to open. Here we have x times x, that's x squared. Then plus x times 3, that's 3x. Plus 2 times x, that's 2x. Then plus 2 times 3, that's 6. Close bracket, now equals to 120 on this side. Then from here, we can simplify the bracket and this gives us x squared plus 5x plus 4 then into bracket also here we have x squared plus 5x plus 6 now equals to 120 on this side then from here we can write this bracket as x squared plus 5x plus 5 minus 1. 5 minus 1 here is 4. Then also you we have this bracket as well, which is x squared plus 5x, then plus 5 plus 1. That is 5 plus 1 here is 6, equals to 120 on this side. Then from here, we have x squared plus 5x plus 5 common here. Then let's use a letter to represent that. Let u be equals to x squared plus 5x plus 5. Then what we have here becomes u minus 1 in the first bracket. Then the second bracket here we have u plus 1. Now equals to 120 from here. That is, this bracket is the same thing as u square minus 1. That is power square, which is equal to 120. Then taking minus 1 here become plus, so we have u square now equals to 121. Now we can take the square root on both sides to get u, so we have square root of u square equals to here we have square root of 121 and here square cancel square root u is now equal to plus or minus 11 from here so here we have two solutions we have u equals to 11 or u equals to minus 11 now recall that we represented u as x squared plus 5x plus 5 that is here this same thing as x squared plus 5x plus 5 equals to 11 here and also here we have x squared plus 5x plus 5 equals to minus 11 here then from here on this side and take 11 here become minus and this is x squared plus 5x plus 5 minus 11 now equals to 0 here which implies we have x squared plus 5x minus 6 equals to 0 here now when we solve this quadratic equation here we have a to be 1 and b 5 C 
minus 6. And from the formula, which is x equals to minus b, that will be minus 5, plus or minus square root of b square, that's 5 square, then minus 4, a, 1, then c, minus 6, then over 2, a, which is 2 times 1. And from here, this gives us x equals to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 5 square here, we have 25. Then minus times minus, that's plus. Then 4 times 6, we have plus 24. Now, over 2 from here. And which becomes x equals to minus 5 plus or minus root 49. Here, then over 2. And this gives us x equals to minus 5 plus or minus 7 over 2. Then, we have two solutions here. x1 equals to minus 5 plus 7 over 2. Then, x2 here equals to minus 5 minus 7 over 2. Then, here x1 same thing as 2 over 2 which is x1 equals to 1 so we have one solution here as x equals to 1 and on this side we have x2 equals to minus 12 over 2 which implies that x2 here equals to minus 6 so we have the second solution here is minus 6 which are this solution then on this side as well, when we solve from here, taking minus 11 here, we have x squared plus 5x plus 5, then plus 11 now equals to 0 from here. And this becomes x squared plus 5x plus 16 equals to 0 from here. Then, on what we have, also, a here is 1, b is 5, then c here is 16. Now, solving this from the formula, we have x equals to minus b, which is minus 5, plus or minus square root of b square, that's 5 square, minus 4, times 1, times 16, then over 2, times 1. And when we solve from here, this becomes x equals to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 5 squared, that's 25, then minus 4 times 1 times 16, that's 64, then over 2, which implies we have x equals to minus 5 plus or minus root minus 39 over 2. And here, minus root minus 1 here is 5, so we have x now equals to minus 5 plus or minus root 39 i over 2. And here also we have two solutions here, which are complex solutions. Here we have x3 equals to minus 5 plus root 39 i. Over 2 and we have x4 equals to minus 5 minus root 39 i over 2 so altogether we have four solutions here we have two real solution and two complex solution now let's check for these two solutions here x equals to 1 and x equals to minus 1 when we substitute x equals to 1 into what we have here, that is, we have this bracket here, substituting x equals to 1 here, then here become 1 plus 1 multiplied by 1 plus 2, then into bracket 1 plus 3, into bracket 1 plus 4 will this be equals to 120 then here yeah, this is same thing as 2 and 
times here we have 3 times 4 10 times 5 is equal to 120 then here we have 2 times 3 6 10 times 4 times 5 that's 20 is equal to 120 then 6 times 20 here is 120 which is equal to 120 now also when we substitute x equals to minus 6 as well then here it becomes minus 6 plus 1 then into bracket also minus 6 plus 2 then minus 6 plus 3 then minus 6 plus 4 is this equal to 120 as well then from what we have here this is minus 5 then here we have minus 4 then here we have minus 3 then here this was minus 3 is equal to 120 from here a minus 4 times minus 5 here give us plus 20 then times here also minus 3 times minus 2 give us plus 6 is equal to 120 then here 20 times 6 here give us 120 which is equal to 120 from here now left hand side also equals to right hand side and hence the two only solution is here to satisfy the given problem now equally the complex solution as well thank you for watching don't forget to just subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos and see you next time bye for now